Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Dispute with Mahesh. Today we are going to see an interview question on Google Cloud Pups. So not only answering the question, so we will also see how it can be implemented. So it should not be just uh, for the sake of answering a question, but if it is required, how can you implement it and show? So that is the thing which we are going to see in this uh, video. So let's get started. The question is something like this. So how do we implement Google Cloud Pubs? Uh, so where we are going to use the pull delivery type. So that is the important highlight of the entire question here. So there's push delivery type also and you can also use now BigQuery. But in this question, the requirement is to use pull delivery type uh, and as usual, any customer expects the, the best option. So they want the maximum throughput and the lowest latency. So the, if this is a question, so you can pause it, do your research, come back and see what could be the possible answer. So uh, I'm going to share a possible answer and with a small demonstration. And one important part which I wanted to highlight here is the pull delivery. Now, why pull delivery? Why not push? Because if I use push, there's a very high chance I can easily achieve this maximum throughput and low latency. Now, the, the requirement could be because the the downstream application, the subscribers may not be always, or the downstream application may not be always up. It is, there's a chance that it can go down very frequently. So that is the reason why push may not be required. And the moment it comes up, it should have the maximum throughput and lowest latency. Uh, so it can process all the stuff. So that's the primary goal of this. So before we go look into the actual possible answer and a small demonstration of it. So a quick shout out. So I'm starting my new batch in professional data engineering. So it is going to be a customized one. So it is batch four. So the details are on the screen. So if you want more details, you can email me or uh, WhatsApp me on this number. So similarly, Cloud Architect Batch 11, I'm starting. Both of them are going to be started on 20th of July. And if you're interested in enrolling it into it, so you can go to my website. I'll put the website in the description. You should be able to do it. Go to the website, click on services. You should be able to see both the stuffs and you get an option to register. So uh, if you are interested, you can go and put in your email ID and register it. So I'll reach out to you. So with the next steps, primarily when we are going to start and there's going to be also a, a demo session, which I'm planning. So you'll get more details on that. Now, going back to the question. So if we want to implement this kind of a stuff, what is the possible option? So I'm going to take the documentation as a reference to back up my answer. So let's jump into the actual uh, or the possible answer for this one. Let's consider the documentation, which is going to be the best source. So since we are going talking about pull delivery type, pull subscription is going to be a good choice. So if we see here, we get these four APIs which is available. So two sets for REST, two sets for uh, remote procedure call. So, and in this one, right, the one which is going to be very important is going to be the streaming pull request. So these, this library makes pull or streaming pull request directly. And the request can be synchronous or asynchronous. The combination is there. So. And if you look into the diagram, which talks more than a thousand words here. So the pull request, how the entire process works is what they are saying here. Similarly, we also have the streaming pull request option. So which is good. Now, if we go look into the documentation, so you get the APIs, as I mentioned, the pull and the streaming pull option. So the pull usually is going to be called as a unary pull. So this is going to be streaming pull and where possible Google uh, the PubSub client libraries use streaming pull for maximum throughput and the lowest latency. So that is what you see it as a option. So now there are certain languages which does not support currently like PHP. So Python, if it's used, we should not have any option. Uh, we should not have any issues. The pull API. So it is the traditional traditional unary GRPC calls. So this will have 
not achieve the one which we wanted so the maximum throughput and the low latency cannot be achieved so when we see the demonstration we'll get more idea on that part uh, so and that is one part so streaming pull request is going to be the key part along with that we should also go with asynchronous pull that's going to be the most important thing so asynchronous pull mode can use the streaming pull api so when we use this one you are going to get maximum throughput so which is also documented here so you should see uh use yeah this one use synchronous pull only if you are expecting low latency and high throughput is not a main uh, main criteria so if you are expecting for high this thing the maximum throughput and this thing so the asynchronous mode is going to be a very good choice so now let's get into the actual demonstration where you can see the snippets of the code so i've created a topic straightforward my topic and two subscriptions both are going to be a full type so the names are just changed but their configuration is exactly the same the names i have given in such a way that we should be able to see two downstream applications that's the only purpose i have created one as streaming pool the other one as a unary pool so let's go into the code piece actually it is taken from the same uh, documentation slightly modified to our need so one on my left i have this uh, traditional one unary pull the the other one is going to be the right side where i have my streaming pull which is going to be the best one so asynchronous mode and streaming pull request is going to be the best option so if you see till 9 number 12 it's the same configuration nothing changed the one which is going to change is basically this method dot subscribe whereas here it is going to be dot pull that's the only change which is going to make that huge difference so this is going to be asynchronous and streaming that's what you see and usually this uh, the streaming pull request will not close a connection so if you look into the documentation it will be always open the connection is always going to be open so if i just do that real quick yeah so for a single streaming pull request a subscription uh, subscriber client can have multiple response and return due to the open connection so it's always going to be open so it's not going to be the streaming pull api keeps the connection open so what is this also we'll try to see it in the demonstration so for that so this is the setup which I have. I have tried to divide the screen in two, three. The one, the above one is going to be the streaming pool. The second one is going to be the traditional one. And the last one, the last block is going to be where I'm going to publish a message. So first let's go and start this one. And I'll start this one later. Publish a message now basically go and run the stuff so you see the stuff so it gets the response and exits simple so we have got the message whereas the above one it's going to be the streaming pull request and the connection is always kept open so let's try one more keep this ready so hello world okay i have to put it as single in now uh, in one this in single quotes so hello world good so you should be able to see the above one so it is fast low latency something you can see it very easily here so here i have to go and manually run this or i have to keep running it in a kind of a loop where i keep watching it so this is where you see using streaming pull request with asynchronous mode is going to be possibly a very good choice and i have backed up my explanation with the documentation so do let me know your comments and your thoughts on what could be the possible option or the the best option which you can achieve if you wanted to have a pull delivery type thank you for watching